Hello, my evolvers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here to fill you guys in on my day two Ramadan and give you guys a mindset talk that I shared on my Instagram and many people loved. This will be a nice, short, sweet reminder that you are in control of your thoughts. But let's start with the experience of fasting. Every single year, it's a reset. It's as if I never fasted in my life. And that is the point. And that is why fasting happens once a year. And you have to learn to lean into that discomfort. And that's what I look forward to every single year. And that sounds crazy to most people um, because most people run away from things that are uncomfortable. Most people do not want to give up food. Most people just want convenience. And that's okay because that's how humans are programmed, as I mentioned before. However, if you want to live a very purposeful life, if you want to achieve these big goals, if you are in, as, as inspired by those people who achieve big things and they chase after their dreams, I want you to know that all of that is only possible because they are leaning into discomfort. They know there's gonna be a lot of obstacles to get to that goal and they're not phased by it. If you are afraid of the journey, you're not gonna make it through the journey. And that is the best advice that I think every person can take and learn from and accept because doing something by choice is where you gain your power. There is a word called autonomy and you, autonomy is when you make the choice to do something and that choice brings you the power, right? So I choose to do hard things and that is why I often succeed with doing them because it's my choice. I want the hard route. So when the hard route comes, he was like, I asked for this, I'm ready. And I'm looking for strategies and ways to overcome this. And that's really where the gratification comes. And if you can program your mind to be long-term um, fixed, rather than short-term fix, you won't be defeated. People want their results now. Now, now, now. I've been dieting for three weeks. I've been training for three weeks. I want my results now. And as long as you're a now person, you're gonna keep, there's like this cycle where you start doing something, you're super excited, going on a date, and then that date doesn't, like something uh, turns you off, and then you're like, oh no, can't do that. And then you wait for something else to spark your motivation. You sit in this nice cycle of going nowhere. And that is the truth. And I'm always going to speak to you guys in a truthful way because I'm, I know how hard the first steps can be. I've made those hard steps. I've taken those sacrifices um, emotionally, financially. And it's not so much the financially uh, aspect that scares you when you go through the emotional hurdles. When you go through the emotional hurdles, you will realize that you battling your own thoughts is the hardest thing you can do and nothing else can actually get in your way. So this talk is to motivate you guys to face your weaknesses uh, while also valuing your qualities. All right, I had to fix the mic. Um, it's important to acknowledge and value your qualities. Why? Because when you are starting something new as a beginner, it can be discouraging. This is where you're going to want to know what your strengths are you're gonna to wanna to balance it out. Like if you're not a good, good chef, what am I good at? Let, let, let yourself focus on your qualities while you work up new skills, while you learn. Um, so you can be patient, right? You have something, you have some skill sets. And so value your qualities, work on your weaknesses. The reason why I'm a good runner is because I was the worst runner. I don't know how everyone scales in the world, but I'll tell you right now, in my professional and uh, premature journey with running. I was the worst person on the team. I didn't like this. I didn't feel like um, I wanted to be the weakling. I knew how that would carry out into my adult life. I could have easily said, I don't care about track. I don't need a scholarship, but it was far more than just that, right? So I use sports as an example because it's not about the actual sport. It's about the meaning and the purpose that that sport had and carried out into my life 15 years later. It was the fact that I knew if I walked away from that, that I would walk away from everything else. That was hard. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do this. This is going to be that moment in my life where I realize how strong I am and how capable I am of doing anything. So find that one thing in your life right now. What are you dodging? What are you not doing? Um, is it working out in public? Is it, everyone's life is so unique that I don't even wanna limit it to the options that I'm giving you. But think about one aspect that you are not confronting because of because of your fear because of some judgment all of that because of is an excuse that is literally going to have you waste your life 
and then you're gonna look back and say, oh, I wish I would have. And those are the three words I'm actually afraid of. So when people say, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of regret. I'm afraid of not doing everything that I was passionate or at least interested in doing. So go after what you want. Um, you don't always need to know the way. Sometimes knowing your why, actually not sometimes, knowing your why is your way. Why are you doing it? For me, it was character. For me, it was wanting to be emotionally strong. You never know you're, when you're gonna get that phone call, someone you love passed away or something tragic happened. We live in chaos. I wanna be prepared. I never wanna be broken down. And so everything always comes down to character and purpose for me. Find your why and you'll have the way. You just gotta show up and put in the effort every single day. That being said, I hope my evolvers who are fasting right now are watching this. I know the fast will challenge you in many ways, but remember your why and you will make it to the end. It's 30 days of the year. And honestly, the more you do things that you are not equipped to doing, the more discipline you're gonna build, the more grit, the more emotional strength. Uh, it's no surprise why one percenters of the world uh, have achieved things that most people can't achieve because they do things that most people don't do. So you want a different outcome, you gotta change what you do on a day to day. I want you guys to make it through to the very end of this challenge and prove to yourselves how much you are capable of doing. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in our next Evolve Talk. Bye.